No, what are you doing? Okay, time for introductions and context. This is Jillian. And this is Yodi. Yodi, Jillian, and I met almost a decade ago while we were all studying abroad in Barcelona, Spain. Before arriving to Spain, we didn't know anyone, but in the four and a half months that we were there, we laughed together, we traveled together, we prayed together, we cried together, and just created overall awesome memories that will last a lifetime. Okay, now that introductions have been made and the context is set, let's get back to the regularly scheduled program. Just in case you haven't put it together by now, on this day, Yodit is marrying her forever mate, Dwight. Just in case you're wondering, Yodit is Ethiopian. And if there are three things that you should know about this beauty, they are that one, she's a lover and follower of Jesus Christ. Two, she has a heart that loves people. And three, sister girl loves to dance. Yeah, as you can see, all three points were pretty well represented at her wedding. She likes to cut a rug and kill a dance floor. In all of my prego glory, I couldn't keep up, and though I tried, my feet hated me for it. Since we were baby free for the weekend, we decided to take the next day to spend some quality time together exploring Alexandria, Virginia. First up, brunch. We found this cute place called Stomping Ground that does everything with biscuits of love. Like, literally, their entire menu consists of new uncharted ways to eat biscuits. In addition to this, everything on their menu is homemade, from the hot sauce down to the cardamom that they use in their cardamom latte. As long as it's hot. I couldn't decide on what to get, so I just ended up getting a little bit of everything. I'm talking fried chicken, biscuits that were styled like French toast, and a side of scrambled eggs. So it was almost like I had chicken and waffles, except they were chicken and French toast, biscuit style. Okay, so maybe I do happen to dance when I eat, but one, there happened to be some really good music playing in the background, and two, the food was so good, my shoulders couldn't help themselves. <laughs> And trust and believed their ways were delicious. Uh, uh, oh, the, uh, uh. the Nick and I decided to stop for tea and a chat. It's yes, more of a coffee. Mm -hmm. so, usually, but I already have my cup of tea. You could um, open the smell of chicken. <laughs> I had an idea for a video that I'd been wanting to shoot for a while, so we decided to make it happen there because, you know, Virginia is for lovers. Over and bend over. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let me turn this off. You trying to say I look like a wife, though? <laughs> I'm going to say that when you put this baby in me. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. This is a verbal contract. Not the guy said, or America said, be of against me or us. Just right. fill in the blank. My I, Erica Lasson, agree to whatever Nicholas Reed is about to say. This is agreed upon in all 51 states. <laughs> United States. <laughs> Yes. All right. Okay. So you agree? I I do. You guys, if you followed the channel, know that typically Nicholas Reed does not like to be on camera. Um, involuntarily participate in in this activity, meaning the camera on me. So why'd you choose this place, Daddy?
None that you'd like to impart on us? Okay. All right, fine. You excited, Daddy? I'm cool. Very good. Very good. That's my uh, countdown. But today we're doing a special husband Q and A. Okay. We are so happy to have you here. Oh, we mainly being me. <laughs> How do you feel like the past two years of marriage has been? So far it's been normal, I guess. You haven't gone crazy as yet and I haven't changed a bit, so I guess it's been... How do you know been... you haven't changed? What do you think are three things that have made it so that we've actually been able to like endure the past ten years together and then what do you feel like will also help us endure another ten? 10 years went by extremely fast. Because time flies while you're having fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, I'll let you answer your question. Like our personality, that's something that definitely helps. You know what else also helps? What? Some great sex. <laughs> I was gonna be fine with a simple kiss, but you know, I'll take great sex any day. Thank you, baby. <laughs> How do you feel like parenthood has kind of changed the dynamic of our relationship or made it better? I've always wanted kids, a couple kids, you know, like a few kids, not just one, but a few. And you about to get more <laughs> than one so we can check that off the list. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she loved to state her opinion and her opinion is Ooh, strong. Just clear. Having enjoyed a full day of togetherness and conversation, we finally made our way to part two of Yodi and Dwight's wedding festivities, the Mels. I hope I'm saying that right. There were so many cool things that I learned about Ethiopian culture during Yodi and Dwight's wedding. And there were so many fun things that were done. One, the decor. Can we talk about ambiance and setting a mood? Two, the entrance. They were like royalty and I loved it. Yodi looked like the perfect queen to match his king. Three, the music and the dancing. It really took me to a place. I mean, I couldn't help but want to shimmy a shoulder or two, like the entire night. <laughs> Four, the Ethiopian love for coffee. Coffee is huge in Ethiopia, apparently, and there was even a little coffee ceremony that took place, one between the couple and another bonding with the two families. It was so cute. Five, the importance of family. This was evident throughout the entire night. The wearing of matching attire kind of reminded me of Nigerian Ashoke, and it looked beautiful on everyone. Six, the bride's nicknaming. This is done by the family of the groom. Okay guys, we have nine names to narrow down to one. Dwight, your family has come together, and the name is Golden Grace. Yes. After the bride's nickname is chosen, they then cut a piece of bread and take it around to all the guests. Whoever remembers the bride's new nickname gets to eat a piece of the bread, and it's said to be good luck. Seven, the cutting of the cake. I'm not sure if this is typically done with the entire bridal party. By then, my information connect, who had been sitting at the table with us, left. In any case, the cake was beautiful, and there's no better way to have cake than being surrounded by some of your nearest and dearest friends and drinking a glass of bubbly. I mean, am I right? Nick and I had an awesome weekend in Virginia, witnessing and celebrating God's bringing together of these two special souls. It was probably one of the most fun and diverse weddings that I've personally ever had the honor of attending, and I loved it. I'm really happy that we got to do this. Based on 
our experience here today, I would say that Virginia really is for lovers. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Yeah, I don't think I need to say anything else. Yeah, except for if you like this video. Um, depends on what's inside this video, you can like and subscribe to. It doesn't depend on what's in this video. If you like it, Share and subscribe. Yes! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe to the channel. Um, my sister's calling me, so we definitely have to go right now. But until the next time, guys, live rich and happy dream chasing. Bye! <laughs> Leave a comment below sharing some of your fondest wedding memories, whether it's yours or a friend of yours. I just love love and I love weddings, so <laughs> I'd like to know. Until the next time, guys, live rich and happy dream chasing. If you like this video, hit that little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.